The Bengals coaching staff is going to look a bit different in 2024. The latest on Zach Taylor's staff, which includes multiple promotions and a new face. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, so you get news like this when the Bengals make a flurry of moves. And today, the Bengals promoting quarterbacks coach Brad Cragthorpe from assistant quarterbacks coach to quarterbacks coach, which it's something we've talked about the moment Dan Pitcher was promoted from quarterbacks coach to offensive coordinator, is that Brad Cragthorpe was the favorite he was the favorite all along, and he gets the promotion. He's been on Zach Taylor's staff for five seasons. He's worked with wide receivers, worked with the quarterbacks last year, was a quarterback at LSU going way back, and now he gets to work with Joe Burrow hand-in-hand. Hand. I, I think this move makes a ton of sense. But the move that we haven't touched on that I think surprised some people is Robert Livingston and the Bengals' safeties coach, secondary coach last year had been on staff for nine years going back to the 2015 season for this Bengals team well he's going to Colorado and he's going to become the next defensive coordinator for the Buffaloes alongside Deion Sanders and that's an opportunity for him to call plays and, and potentially grow and move forward in his career meanwhile for this Bengals team they need to make an important hire right well they did and news broke of Livingston on on Wednesday night and Jordan Kovacs was always the favorite. Well, the Bengals made it official on Thursday that Jordan Kovacs is the new secondary coach, safeties coach. And it's a move that makes a lot of sense. You're talking about a former NFL safety, someone that's been on your staff for five years as well and has worked his way up. And I'll just read some of his titles here. He was assistant linebackers coach for the past couple of seasons, defensive quality control coach from 2019 to 21. And so he's grown much like a lot of these guys on the staff, Zach Taylor on down. They've grown as coaches, and he has too. And he has a really important job because he needs to develop and help get the most out of Dax Hill, help get the most out of Jordan Battle. And so Jordan Kovacs, who played in 28 NFL games, by the way, over three seasons from 2013 to 2015 uh, with the Dolphins, also spent time with the Eagles and uh, Chiefs and Rams uh, during the 2016 preseason. He's the guy for that. But let's get to the new face, because I've seen a lot of your comments. A lot of your comments are, man, the Bengals need a new voice. Well, they're bringing one in. And it's, it's interesting, because I, I don't think there was an official pass game coordinator on staff. That was something that Dan Pitcher uh, was, was a big part of. Obviously, Brian Callahan was a big part of, and Zach Taylor. Well, they announced the hiring of Justin Riscati, R-A-S-C-A-T-I, Riscati. I believe I said it right. A a anyways. Riscotti coming from the Minnesota Vikings from the past couple of years. Also, uh, he was an assistant offensive line coach there in 22 and 23, and then was an offensive quality control coach with the Broncos from 2019 to 2021. And he's been uh, an assistant throughout the college ranks for multiple years and was a quarterback at Louisville way back in 2003. So some of you may uh, remember him then, won uh, a national championship with James Madison uh, after transferring from Louisville. And put up all kinds of records over five, 5,900 yards over three seasons, 51 touchdowns, all of those things, whatever. Right? You don't care about that. You care about his coaching. And I do think when you look at the, the Vikings over the past couple of years and that offense pre Kirk Cousins' injury, it's an interesting addition. There's no doubt. And you, you have someone that worked hand in hand with Justin Jefferson, probably got the most out of Kirk Cousins. You think about that, that 2022 team and how many games they would win down to the wire, how explosive that offense was in 23. And I know he was an offensive line assistant, but he was still there, and he was still around it. So interesting hire for the Bengals. And I would imagine that this is it, barring something unforeseen coming. And that's part of why I don't want to say, oh, well, the coaching staff is officially finalized, because I don't think a lot of people – knew about the Colorado option or opportunity for Robert Livingston. And I think it's pretty simple for him. He loved Cincinnati, wanted to be here, but you also want to advance. And I don't, I don't think he was getting the NFL looks that he was probably hoping for, the coordinator looks. So now he becomes a coordinator in college and has a chance to uh, show what he can do there. But 
man, I, I look at uh, this coaching staff and I, I think it, it makes a ton of sense. And, and hopefully you can keep, and he's such a big part uh, of what they've done this year. Hopefully you can keep your veteran coaches and uh, w- wide receivers coach uh, Troy Walters is, is the guy to me. Hopefully you can keep him. And I, I was looking because he interviewed for the Texans offensive coordinator job last year. Well, it doesn't look like he got any offensive coordinator looks this year. And when you think about the idea of potentially losing a T Higgins, bringing in an, another young wide receiver to work with, with Joe Burrow, having Troy Walters, that's a big one. So out of all of these, I think we knew about all of them outside of uh, the Riscotti addition as pass game coordinator. And then certainly Jordan Kovacs. Once we found out about Robert Livingston, it felt like he was the favorite. That's been less than 24 hours ago uh, when that news broke. So overall, I think this Bengals coaching staff, it's, it's going to be pretty solid. It's going to be pretty solid and, and keeping Troy Walters was certainly huge. Assuming that's going to be the case. I'll knock on wood, but make sure you check out our videos this week. We, had Enter the Jungle. It was a lot of fun uh, discussing T. Higgins' future, what they should do with him. We, we looked at Super Bowl 58 and which team could win, will win. I made my pick there, plus Jamar Chase paying homage to Chad Johnson. That's every Tuesday at 8 Eastern and on Bally Sports Weekly. And until next time, for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine, where coaching news. Get ready because free agency is around the corner, the combines around the corner. Off-season news is coming your way. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. And until next time, thank you so much for watching Cincinnati Bengals Talk.